elections in just about six weeks in Telangana and it appears that money is being recovered at multiple locations, crores of rupees, there is also gold and cash and liquor that's been seized and this is also being attributed to the very kind of a strict, stringent kind of uh, rules and uh, the uh, hawk's eye being employed by the election commission which have in fact also ordered the transfer of as many as 20 senior officers including the commissioners of Hyderabad police, uh, Warangal as well as in Nizamabad, new replacements have come. District SPs of as many as uh, 10 districts were changed, as also four collectors who were to be district election officers were changed. All that aside, there is a big recovery of 42 crore rupees that happened in Bengaluru, and that is being connected to the elections in Telangana, and I'll tell you how. This was a raid that was conducted by the income tax department in Bengaluru at the house of a former corporator whose husband was a, is the vice president of the Karnataka BBMP, the Bangalore Municipal uh, Cor Corporation's, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Contractors Association. And uh, what is being alleged is that raids happened at multiple places, not just at his home, his daughter's home, as well as relatives' home, and as much as 42 crore rupees in uh, 22 to 23 boxes in 500 rupee denomination notes was found late last night. And Telangana's finance minister has said that this money was actually meant to come to Telangana via Chennai, Bengaluru to Chennai to Hyderabad to finance the Congress election campaign here. The BRS is in fact saying that as much as 1500 crore rupees was going to come from Karnataka to Hyderabad to Telangana in order to finance the election of the Congress here, election spending of the Congress here. He is saying that uh, money is being collected in what is what he has called as Telangana tax from contractors, builders as well as gold merchants and that that money was being routed here in order to try and boost up the Congress prospects here. He has, he has of course dismissed saying that any amount of spending of money is not going to help the Congress here. Interestingly, the Prime Minister had also spoken about money from Karnataka being pumped into Telangana and in that case he had said during a public meeting in fact that uh, during the Karnataka elections he alleged that KCR, Telangana's Chief Minister, had bankrolled Karnataka's election campaign for the Congress and as a payback time now it is uh, Karnataka which is helping uh, the BRS here to uh, conduct their uh, you know poll spending and therefore was pumping in money from there so while all these allegations are happening of uh, uh, the Congress or the Karnataka helping either the BRS that's what the Prime Minister says or of the Congress here that's what uh, the BRS leaders are saying the fact is huge amount of money already being pumped into these elections in Telangana and in days to come likely that more seizures and more money which could actually uh, surpass all records earlier it is being estimated in hyderabad the camera person nagraju uma sudhir ndtv